Hey world, I'm Matt Pierce and I'm going to do a video demonstration for my big bore mallard duck call. All these, my the, I make two different style mallard duck calls. I make a big bore and I make a small bore. The big bore is typically better suited for big open water areas or guys that prefer to have more tone out of their duck call than rasp. My small bore duck calls I developed to be a much raspier duck call. The unique thing about these calls and why we've been in business now for 16 years, you cannot over blow these calls. So the more air you put in, the more volume comes out. There are, it's, there's a large number of individuals, hunters, who throughout the United States, they, they would not be able to shoot ducks, harvest ducks, has it if it was not for this duck call right here. Why is that? For example, I sell lots of calls. Uh, uh, we're very blessed. I give all glory to God. This is nothing that I've done. It's all about Him. I give all the glory to God because He has shown me how to continue on making these. This is a Paul Kingian style duck call. This one's made of acrylic. Paul made all his calls out of wood. Well, some of you have and some of you have not. Um, he's passed away, but Mr. Kingian made a duck call that a lot, a lot, allowed a lot of guys to put ducks in their bag. So I sell a lot of these to guys in the upper Mississippi flyway. For example, they're hunting a part of a river that's a public area. On the right side is this really big refuge. Holds tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of mallards. It's on their right side. They're in a boat in this river, which is the boundary to the refuge. The birds are flying out of the refuge, over the river, to the million dollar duck club on this side. So you have refuge on one side, million dollar duck club on this side, but they found public water in the middle. When the birds are coming over them, they're just little bitty black dots up in the sky. And 99.9% .9 of every duck call on the market today will not produce a duck sound that will reach those ducks and bring them down. They need to sound like a duck when they are up here they need to sound like a duck when they're here, and they need to sound like a duck when they're here grabbing their shotguns. That's where Matt Pierce Game Calls comes in. So I'm going to blow this call for you, and I'm going to give you as if we were sitting in this boat hunting with these guys, showing you more or less what they're doing to get these ducks. Same situation applies to you. Maybe you live in an area where the ducks are way out there, okay? And I've, I've had many wonderful success stories where guys said, hey, we, before we had one of your calls, we were never able to do this. But now, because they can hear us, we're shooting more ducks. We're pulling them to us and we're getting them because they can hear us and we're doing it and we sound like a duck. So the, the first tip I give every hunter when it comes to uh, everything except a whistle, my mallard calls, my speck calls, my goose calls, uh, honker calls, the tip of your tongue should never move. It's anchored to the bottom row of your teeth. And you're going to use the word hick, H-I-K, okay? Hick. And the more voice heat huh, that you can put into it, the better. So I'm going to blow this call. And, okay, we're in this boat with these guys. Refuges over here. Million dollar duck clubs over here. Birds are getting up in the masses. And they're flying over this river. They pick up their duck call. What do they do?
It's a duck. Sounds like a duck. It's what they're doing when they're low. But you're doing it at a volume that them ducks way up there. Look at way up there like this. They can hear you. So when you got three, four thousand of them doing this and say five, ten, fifteen, thirty, fifty, break off. And they start doing this. Oh wow, something's happening. As they descend and they get lower, you get lower in volume. Hick, 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 H I K. Hick, 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 hick. And the cadence I'm using, I've, I've, I've thought about this for years. 16 years I've been doing this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or maybe it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. They get lower. You get lower. Mm. Whether it's a widgeon, a pintail, a mallard, whatever it might be, when do I call it the ducks? When they're at an angle, okay? This is not an angle. This is an angle. When they are sideways, see this decoy? This is an old herder's decoy. When they're coming at you, when they're coming at you like this, I'm pitter pattering. I'm just giving them something to key in on. When they're out there a ways, and I can see the side of their face, they turn in, give them something to listen to. Hit, H-I-K. Guys, guys, please, not this. Or... I, I have never in my life heard a single duck make this sound when they're on the ground, in the water. They do it when they're flying. I've grown up with mallards. I've lived on a wetland almost my entire life. And if it works for you, don't let me tell you to stop. But if you want to shoot more ducks, if you want to see mallards come to you, I advise that you hick. Okay, again, they're going away, they, you know, wh whatever distance they are, you're trying to get them to come back. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, however many. <laughs> you get a response, and they start coming back to you. <laughs> Ninety-nine percent of the time, that's all it takes. All that other fancy, fancy stuff—it never worked for me. Now, when they get really, really close, and say they're on the deck, okay, we hunt flooded corn in Washington sometimes. When they're really low on the deck, and they're gonna say land in the next hole over, and they're down, and I want to get them up and to bring them to me. I get really aggressive with my mallard call. Okay? And if, if they're coming at me, if they're coming at me, but they're not coming straight at me, and they're kind of, oh, what's over there? And they're kind of doing this. Okay? Then I try to extend my notes and sort of slurp it. it but i'll do a hen on the water which is a one two three hit hit hit
hear the voice that I'm putting into it? <laughs> the, the voice keeps the reed moving. It keeps it from sticking. It adds rasp into the call. You, in my opinion, I, I've never put too much rasp in my duck call. It, I just, it, I can't. They don't seem to mind it, and a lot of times they like it a lot better. So let's recap, okay? Real quick www.mattpiercegamecalls.com mattpiercegamecalls.com When the ducks are way up there, they're little black dots. They're flying over. I mean, they're way up there, okay? They're up there in the stratosphere. They got your mail. They're going from USA to Canada. They're, they're up there. some of them break off even if it's just one and they begin their descend the lower closer they get the lower you blow and sound you'll never lose doing that you'll always it, it, it and it, it's a you know it's a technique guys it's a practice makes perfect and the more you do it you'll get better at it but basically that's what guys are doing with these duck calls to kill mallard ducks blow them i've i've taken i've got a nozzle it's got a rubber nose a rubber hose on the end of it that i put air in my tire with i've taken it and i put it in these duck calls and blown it and and you don't overblow them you you can't overblow these calls i don't care if you're seven foot tall 300 pounds your dad's always told you hey you're too loud at the kitchen table be quiet it doesn't matter you're not going to overblow this duck call and with that same call as they descend, you descend, and you can get quieter to finish the ducks into the decoys with one duck call. One, two, three, four, five. Hit, hit, hit. H-I-K. Hit, 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 hit. Hit, hit, hit. Same with a quack. A quack is just a quick H-I-K, hick. A feed call properly done is a lot of short quacks. Not, you know, that might, that sound, it might sound like when there's 10,000 ducks sitting in one spot, that might fool them. But I don't have 10,000 ducks where I'm at, Mallard's. I'm working on usually one duck. And that one duck is going to be very particular about what it's listening to. So I'm going to do what that duck wants. And I'm going to shoot that duck. Soft, subtle hicks. Again. That's a big boar mallard duck call. Matt W W W M A T T P I E R C E Game Calls. Matt Pierce Game Calls.com. If you guys have any questions, maybe you've had some of my calls in the past and you had a desire, you want me to set them up a certain way, I can set them up really high pitch, really easy blowing, so they get really loud. Uh, maybe you're hunting in a lot of trees and you don't want to be loud. You want a deeper sound. I could do anything you want. Give me a call. 209-233-4658. I live in Central California. Good luck, guys. And remember, it's so very important. I give all the glory to God. I never made this duck call, but God made it through me. God bless you.